Jesus doesn't give them a promise. He only gives them a command. Now think about it. Most of us know there is a power in Jesus' promise. But very few of us know that there is power in Jesus' commands. God's commands, not only His promises, have power. Imagine, Jesus doesn't tell them they will get healed. Jesus only tells them where to go. If I would be a leper, I would say, before we do, what are our chances of getting healed? <laughs> I don't mind walking 10 more miles, but I've been walking for the past 25 years, a leper. And I don't need another rabbi telling me where to go. I need to know, do I even have a 50% chance of getting healed? Do I have 50% of my leprosy be gone? I mean, I can settle for 50, but I need to know, I need to know some kind of a, some promise. I mean, come on, give me some hope. Jesus doesn't give them a hope. I mean, read the Bible. It says, he tells them, go show yourself to the priests. Okay. And they go show themselves to the priests. You know, Jesus' clothes have power. Jesus' spit has power. I would always said, I always, I would rather take Jesus' spit than Judas' kiss. <laughs> I'd rather have Jesus spit at me than Judas kiss me. God protect us from those kisses in Jesus' name. But Jesus' spit has power. Jesus' garments have power. Jesus' promises has power. But somehow we think Jesus' commands, they, they force us to do things. Can I tell you something today? Jesus' commands are packed with power. And when they are acted upon, power is released. They bring a crippled man to Jesus, lays on his bed, and Jesus forgives his sin. The man is still crippled. The man is still lame. The man still cannot walk. And Jesus looks at him and says, get up. That's a command. He didn't say, you will walk. He didn't say, you will get up. He doesn't give him a promise. He didn't say, you will get power. He just tells, looks at the man who the reason why he came to Jesus, he can't walk. And Jesus tells him to do the opposite of what he cannot do. He says, do it. If I would be that man, I would say, well, the problem is, the reason why I'm here is because I can't walk. And Jesus says, when I commend you, there is a power that follows the command. And when you try to act on it, my power only then is released. Not when I command, when you act. Many people say, I can't obey God. I can't pray. I can't read the Bible. I can't bring people to Jesus. I can't speak. I can't give my finances. I can't do this. I can't do this. If God tells you to do it, Act on it. You may not be able to do it a minute before he tells you. But when he tells you to do it, in his command is the power for you to do it. And when you act on it and realize God's eyes have power. His breath has power. And if he uttered a word, that means in that word is the power to do it. God will not ask you to do something. He doesn't give you power to do it. And when does he give you power? When you choose to act on his command. 